Hello and thank you for joining me today. We are going to have a quick look at uh, the following uh, flow, which is quite simple, as you could probably tell. The idea behind this flow is to do some time tracking. So basically I will use one of the templates and show you how to do time tracking using a flow button. If you know what flow button is, normally this is used on uh, mobile devices, right? And if you install Power Automate on your mobile device, uh, you will see a button that allows you to trigger the flow manually. And this is the goal here, right? When, when I start my working day, I just want to click on the button, right? So this is a manual step and then the flow starts and the flow will save entries in an Excel table that is hosted uh, in uh, OneDrive for Business. Or it can be hosted in Google Sheets or in some other data source, uh, wherever you need it. So let's see how to do this simple flow. First, we would need to navigate to the flow center here. I click create a new flow or I go to templates. And of course, as you might suspect, there is already a template for that. If I search for uh, time tracking time tracking uh, yes for example we can use this one track your working hours in Excel online for business spreadsheet it's an instant flow it's been downloaded eight times eight thousand times so it's quite popular we need only one connection here I'm going to use the same user to authenticate to both the flow and uh, Excel online for business. So for that, I would need to have um, a file somewhere and uh, uh, it has to be an Excel uh, file. So in my case, I go to, uh, you see, I go here to uh, OneDrive, right? And I create a new file uh, Excel workbook would be the file. And so let's say I have a blank file, right? I can rename it to, let's call it simply time. So now I have this, it's, an, it's a blank document, right? It's an empty one. And then let's see what we do next. Ideally the flow needs a table to work with. So when I have a Excel spreadsheet created, I still need to add a table into it. So uh, let's see if I have something like the start time and something like date, right? So only two entries, the time when I start my work and the date when it starts. If I do it like this, it will not work the reason being flow works only with tables. So my data has to be formatted as a table first. So if I uh, select, how do I select just a couple of rows here like this, right? If I select this, go to, uh, where is it? Data, right? Create table. Uh, here, there is an option to insert a table, table, right? And the range is here. So now I have this data formatted as a table and I can give this, uh, this names so I can move them to column names, start time. And column two would be date, right? So now I have a table, a very small table here that will be used by the flow to store the data. When I go back to my flow, right, I can also add input, but uh, I'm not going to add input. I already have the necessary information when it starts automatically. And uh, for, let's say, for location, I will select OneDrive for Business and document library is called 
OneDrive because that's the only document library I have in my uh, OneDrive. Now I choose a file that's called time xls right excel file called time and uh, then i can select a table so now i have this it's only one table i have it's called table one not very creative name but uh, it's a good to start with so let's see if i click on save now uh, you see i get an error this item time step is no longer present so this it means that this timestamp has to be entered in the actual column with the name start time not not this one uh, and for this one i just select dynamic content right and put timestamp so currently i have table which is called table one right and uh, this table has two columns start time and date and basically i just use the start time and date i click save i don't have a mobile device connected to to this uh, machine so i'll just show you how to test it and you can try it on your mobile devices if you actually create it and and do it on the mobile phone it will work so then i click on test here i test it manually and when i click here to continue basically the same as if I clicked the start button the flow button in the uh, on the mobile device right so now the flow runs all it does it just adds a row to the table you see the row addition is done the start time and date so these are the values that have been entered into uh, where is the file so here and the values are here already. Of course, we would have to work a little bit on the time uh, format if needed, but uh, you get the idea, right? So basically it's a manual flow. You click on the button and then the entries for your uh, work in times for the start time are entered into this table. And then you can reuse it for later or can manipulate these entries for reporting purposes or things like that so that's about it for today thank you for watching have a wonderful day stay healthy bye bye